what up world i'm back latest video was the nba's mount rushmore i'm glad y'all took a peep at that uh the topic that we about to get into now mvp for the 2013 2014 season we're gonna go right into it um give me your comments your feedback share this video get it out there let, let's see what people think about it as we the fans um uh, chime in um i'm gonna have to go with kevin durant off the back uh I know some people are saying LeBron. Um, here's my reasons why I'm going with Kevin Durant this season. Um, one, I'm just going to put it out there that I think Kevin Durant sh should be um, working on his second MVP. But, you know, that's up for debate. Um, uh, honestly, Kevin Durant is just having a remarkable season. Um, the whole month of January, he was hot. I believe averaging like 34 points, six rebounds, seven assists. I mean, he was he was scorching. Not even just for that month, but for the beginning of the year, Kevin Durant has just been spectacular. This is another level that I've seen from him. Um, I like Kevin Durant's humility, his passion for the game, his respect for the game, uh, his ability to score. But this season, you know, you got to look at all these aspects. Kevin Durant is playing in a way tougher conference in the Western Conference. The eighth seed in the Eastern Conference can lose 50, 60 games and still make the playoffs. One. So Kevin Durant is one. He's in a tougher conference with way more competition. You got to look at that. Two. Almost 80 to almost 70 to 80 percent of this season, he's been without Russell Westbrook which is another dy dynamic blow to the Oklahoma City Thunder. And I'm not, a, I'm not a Thunder fan. You know, my team is the Houston Rockets. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, I'm very fair on, you know, what I say. Now, don't get me wrong. LeBron can play the game. He's very talented. But, I mean, people are really just looking at LeBron's stats rather than, you know, everybody else. There's a lot of good players that deserve more MVP consideration. And here's why. Kevin Durant, like I said, he's playing in a tougher conference. He doesn't have Russell Westbrook. He has to score 30 a night for them to win. Not only that, they're the top seed in the West. How is he not the MVP? The MVP is the most valuable player. Player meaning, how valuable is this player to your team? Durant is more valuable to the Thunder than LeBron James is to the Heat because... If you take, like I said, if you take James off the Heat, the Heat will still contend for championships. I didn't say they'll win. I'm not saying they'll win. I'm saying they will at least be in the hunt. They'll be in the playoffs. You can't tell me they won't because D. Wade won one in 06, and he had a similar team. They'd still have Bosch. They'd still have Ray Allen, Shane Battier. They'd still have those, those role players. So just taking LeBron off the Heat, that doesn't mean they wouldn't even make playoffs. No, I think that at least they were able to get like third, maybe fourth seed. And that's not bad. If you take Durant off the Thunder, their their playoffs are hopeless. I, I I don't think they'll make the playoffs. In the Western Conference, I don't think they'll make the playoffs without Kevin Durant. And that's an MVP. How valuable is he to your team? Not only that, they're winning games. And he's putting up phenomenal numbers. So I think that people just look too much into LeBron. I think I'm not a LeBron hater, but... I'm honest, he is a little bit overrated to me. Nobody ever talks about LeBron's bad games. And I've seen games where LeBron's had 30 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists. But he's had like 7, 8 turnovers, and nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to talk about LeBron's bad side. Everybody just wants to, every time he does something good, oh, you know, LeBron can do something stupid. Like, LeBron can go pissing on a mountain and ESPN would be like LeBron James pissed on a mountain today what does what does it say I mean they blow everything he does up and I just I'm not a LeBron hater you know he can play the game he's real talented he will go down as one of the greatest um players of all time probably the greatest athlete we've seen in the NBA and I'm, I am fair about that but there's a lot more players that deserve to be looked at as MVPs for their team that they're just looking at LeBron James every year um Another MVP candidate that I really looked at this year is Paul George. He has Indiana, as of right now, the number one seed. 
um, best home record in the NBA. He's putting up 25, 6, and 5, shooting above 50%. I mean, you got to look at Paul George, too. He's leading his Indiana team for home court advantage in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? You also got to look at Kevin Love. I mean, Kevin Love doesn't have the pieces LeBron has or the pieces Paul George has, but look what he's doing with the pieces that he does have. You know, Minnesota, they're, what, 25 and 26? I think they're like 6th or 7th in the, in the playoffs right now. Kevin Love is putting up phenomenal numbers as well, like 40 points, 15 rebounds, 30 points, 20 rebounds almost every night. And he's valuable to the Minnesota Timberwolves. I mean, they're not winning, but you got to look at how valuable he is. If he, if he wasn't on the team, would they win at all? I personally don't think Minnesota would win over 11 games without Kevin Love. You know, everybody's so quick to give it to LeBron because, oh, he, he's a stat sheet stuffer and he's a highlight reel. That's fine. But stats don't mean nothing. Nothing. Any player in the NBA, they're all professionals. Some players can go off for 30 a night. That means nothing. What do you do for your team? How valuable are you to your team? The Heat are still valuable with the D-Wade, Chris Bosh, those role players. They would still be in the playoff hunt. So it's not like LeBron is just taking them every single year. He's a big contributor, but this year in the finals, when the Miami Heat played the Spurs, LeBron got major help from Dwayne Wade, and nobody talks about that. For the past six games, Dwayne Wade's been averaging... 20 points, 10 assists. In the finals against the Spurs, Dwayne Wade put up 33 points, 10 assists, 6 rebounds, 4 steals. I believe it was game 3. But everybody was so quick to talk about LeBron's game. So before people just start hyping up LeBron, people got to realize the Miami Heat made LeBron a better player too. You can't, <laughs> you can't be an MVP and not have the, the, the right role players. So just like LeBron makes the Heat better, the Heat make LeBron better. You got to see the pieces he has. LeBron has more weapons than Kevin Durant, and Kevin Durant is still winning games in a tougher conference. That's why Kevin Durant is my MVP. Um, Paul George is definitely, definitely deserves way more consideration than what he's getting. Um, Kevin Love is always, you know, he should always be at least talked about. To me, he's always top five. He may not get it, but he's always top five. You can't take him out of the discussion and what he does for that organization. Um, who else do you have? You have, you have, you have quite a bit players. Um, I mean, MVP is a serious, serious thing. So, I mean, those are the three that really pop to mind. Um, I would say more players, but they're not really wowing me like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is awesome. And if you, if you're a basketball player and you're a hooper and you respect the game, you know the game. You cannot discount what Kevin Durant has done over LeBron. If you're fair in any sense of the word, you would take a step back as a real basketball fan and be like, you know what? I am a LeBron fan. I do like LeBron. But what Kevin Durant is doing this season, got to give it to him. Got to give it to him. So comment, like, post, like, dislike, don't care. Just, just you know, everybody chime in. Uh, this is the great thing about these discussions. They turn into debates. And so just just give me your feedback on it. Make your points. Um, you know, but as of right now, if this season were to end today, uh, my MVP would be Kevin Durant. Um, and not by a landslide. I mean, LeBron is always in contention with just the player he is. Um, but this year, Kevin Durant has, has really took it to another level. And you can't take a few games that LeBron has done, like the past five, six games, and then the buzzer beater at Golden State, and then the whole going to Oklahoma City with a broken nose playing. I mean, I get all that, but LeBron is really just starting to play because he knows, oh, man, Kevin Durant's ahead of me. I got to show the world. I'm, that's why he's playing. He's, he's not, you know, oh, well, he, he, can, he can take a day off on the court and still put up 20, 25. I get that. But that's not MVP material. You shouldn't have the mindset of, I'll play when I want to because I'm the best. Jordan never took a night off. He went at you full force even if he had a bad game. That's what separates <laughs> Jordan and Mike. I mean, I mean, excuse me. <laughs> that's what separates Michael and LeBron. Um, so just, just let me know what you think um, and just get it out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as of right now, though, I got Kevin Durant as the 
MVP of the season. Things could change, but I got KD.